Good morning, folks. I have to give a shout out to Skyview. We were in Nampa, Idaho yesterday for a terrific event. They came out during lunch. Teachers gave up their class time to let kids see sunspots and ask questions. Apparently, some of them show the news in their classrooms. They got involved as well. Everyone did. The students were intelligent, kind, and a lot of them had their eyes open. However, my pups were unquestionably the stars of the show. Thank you, guys. You rock, and happy homecoming. Fade to black. We've got two plasma filaments twisting in towards Earth. One of them is made up of those solar tornadoes from days ago. Both are eruption concerns. Something I missed yesterday as we came out of the Corona Hole stream was that it was a solar sector boundary crossing, causing perturbations in the high energy proton flux and the low, also allowing a brief spike of plasma penetration into our atmosphere. The flaring was low, but trying to creep upwards. We've still got the big umbras on the south, with still only one potential magnetic mixing spot on the left. Also got some new spots to the north, so, so much for that peak I thought we hit yesterday. Right, then left. Boom, boom. We had two clear CMEs on Soho Lasco yesterday, but they were both on the back side. That is some big action back there. So we saw that the northern coronal hole destabilized. What about the current hole cresting earth facing position now? Eswa shows moderate to strong force, with the strongest appearing to align with our September 24th position tomorrow. These have been shifting around quite a bit. A bit of perspective, looking back to Hurricane Odile, I recommend the latest video and explanation from the GPM as they were able to use their advanced detection monitors to break down the storm in detail. Pretty good article out of the NRAO. Sibling stars in youth, they think they see evidence of the outward system winds already, but note that it may just be the denser star cannibalizing the gases and dust. Folks, I declare the floodgates open. In 2011, they said I was a little crazy for worrying about Fukushima. Now they fear monger over steam. The real danger is already among us, and I hope this paper is followed by hundreds more radiation studies regarding the Japan disaster. Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics has declared Pluto to be a planet again, and there was much rejoicing. Yay! Kicking to RSOE, where that flood alert we posted days ago for East India and the neighboring countries bore out with rain triggered landslides. Much luck to you folks. The flooding continues in the southwest. This is from New Mexico. We can also shoot all the way across up to Nova Scotia where the before and after images say quite a lot. Flooding has subsided but the road damage is significant. Feng Wang remnants have crossed Shanghai and a new typhoon is forming next to Guam. It's come across the Pacific. We expect development in the far east waters here and this is only not named because it's not in the tropics, northwest rainmaker for days to come. We note the convergence crossing Florida here, but more importantly, the northern flow of heat and moisture, up and up. A little bit of a U-shaped watch zone tonight for the storms. Also take note that the high pressure aids the surrounding lows in shifting the temperatures. It's warmer in parts of northernmost Canada than it is in parts of the Gulf states. That's asinine. Big low shown in purple in Eastern Europe. Also note the curve back to the wind, back west, which actually connects back across the Mediterranean to that low. Not hard to find tonight's thunderstorms here. Also got the fast moving low near south central Australia with the high pressure system to the east clearing most of the way. Simple as can be. We've got shots of our star to close at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.35 a.m. Mountain Time as the mobile observatory continues east across the country. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.